Hi guys, Kim here. Just wanted to talk to you a little bit about some. It's been going on for quite some time now, but some of the things that are floating about and the information about CERN has got me a bit concerned. It leaves me with the desire to put my tongue to extend it into my cheek because frankly, I just don't buy it. I just don't buy what they're doing here. I've been following this subject for a long time now. I don't know how long, more than 10 years, probably more than 15 years. When I look at it, it reminds me or has the look of a Stargate, as in the series Stargate. Not that that's got anything to do with it, but I just thought I'd mention it since the subject of the Stargate is opening portals and uh, surely a coincidence. Anyway, I can remember the early days of the subject and how we used to speculate on the strange things that used to go on in turn. Um, I can remember when they put the statue of Shiva outside the front and God in the statue of Shiva what they said was that the Indian government had donated the statue of Shiva to them. It was a gift from the Indian government. A plaque next to the statue said a quote from Fridge Tov Capra explains its significance and I quote Hundreds of years ago, Indian artists created visual images of dancing Shivas in a beautiful series of bronzes. In our time, physicists have used the most advanced technology to portray the p patterns of the cosmic dance. The metaphor of the cosmic dance thus unifies ancient mythology, religious art and modern physics. He explained in the Tao of Physics. So what weirdness have we had associated with CERN over the years? Technically, CERN's main claim to fame is that it's the birthplace of the web, although I can't really remember that being the case. In the early days of the web, I seem to think it was to do with the military. I don't know. Maybe it's a Mandela effect for me. But that's all I can remember about the web. When I remember... What I do remember is a number of years ago where there was a scare in the area around Geneva and around the LHC where people appeared to have disappeared from the streets. There was nobody at all on the streets and they had all these cameras and the they were speculating that there'd been a big explosion in CERN and there were no people on any live cameras that were showing no people in the town at all. It went on for a few hours gradually fizzled out to nothing. I don't remember that when that was. And then we had the Cern Opera Symmetry. I'll link that below for anybody that hasn't seen it. Certainly well worth a watch. Technicians whirling their arms around badly on a platform, if that's meant to mean something. A couple of technicians in empty space, one in black and one in white. Um, I'm sorry to sound cynical, but these days science just isn't cutting the mustard for me. It's almost as if every time I discover a big lie that science is behind it. What right do they have to waste my school years teaching me blatant lies? Okay, and then we've got the Goddard Tunnel weirdness. I can't remember whether the opera was before or after that. That was in 2016 tunnel opening up linking two places in Switzerland it was somehow connected to CERN something to do with particles and physics the physics of building the tunnel anyway I've linked the fun filled hour of entertainment below but be warned there's some nudity in it some extreme weirdness some depictions of goats having sex people are running around in underwear and some weirdo baby with wings wearing a nappy not sure what all that means some Twitter user commented on the ceremony. Uh, we're opening a tunnel and here we got two people dressed up at Ibexes pretending to have sex. Hmm. So then I want to jump on to the last few days and news on CERN. That's a bit concerning. Taking it, taking that it is legitimate that people are openly proclaiming that they're going to start the LHC, the Large Hadron Collider, for the purposes of looking to open a portal or a new dimension in the regions of Saturn looking for dark matter. Yeah, right. 
I'm trying to find the article, but I can't find it. But I was researching a bit over the last few days to try and hone in what they're up to. And now I'm seriously beginning to wonder if this branch of physicists are genuine looking to open a portal to hell. Or are seriously looking for something completely different and are just telling us that to pull our leg. Now that to me is far more believable. I actually think that they're just making fear porn for the fun of it. Throwing an idea out there and say, hey, wouldn't this be fun? Let's put a picture up, two goats having sex, and see where the conspiracy theorists go with that. Alternatively, there's a trail to be followed into some metaphysical aspect of this world that will lead us down to a path of revelation, which will eventually lead us to the actualization of the six sun, kaboom, all meant to be. Even the name, concern. Let's move along, there's nothing to see here. Maybe they're telling us it's all a con, concern and all that. Anyway, I just couldn't resist doing something on this because I've been around this subject for a while and I thought I would share my ride on it. Introduction to Symmetry, the opera, is actually quite worth a watch. And the other video is actually worth a watch, but it's an hour long. So, ta-ta for now.